Hi everyone, this is Bob with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at the auto-tune effect for vocals. Now, auto-tune, when applied as a vocal effect, is pitch correction with a very fast response time. This fast response time makes the pitch of the vocal snap to the next note as opposed to gliding to the next note. Now, I'm not a big fan of the in-your-face auto-tune effect, However, I did find a subtle use of this effect that worked well in particular for this song and for my taste. So let me share with you what I did on a recent recording. Now, I have loaded up here my song, I Fly With You. Now, there's a video of this song if you want to hear it in its entirety with some nice flying footage of vintage aircraft captured with a GoPro camera. So make sure you check that out, and I'll put a link in the description. Now, we'll use the pitch correction plugin. I have it uh, I have it pulled up right here. This is what actually makes the auto-tune happen. So here's the lead vocal track with the pitch correction uh, plugin added. And what I did is I, I soloed up this um, lead vocal track and played the entire track with the plugin's response time set to zero. And I was on a hunt, if you will, for some vocal phrasing or you know something that sounded good with this auto-tune effect. And I actually found one part in the course that I liked, but it was just one word, the word I in the phrase, I fly with you. So let's take a listen with the, with the plug-in bypassed to the start of the course and focus on that one word, I, in the lyric, I fly with you. Here we go. I fly with you. So just so you know, that note started, or that, uh, that word started on the note E here, and then it kind of drifted down to the, to the D. So I'll play it one more time with it, uh, with it bypassed. I fly with you. Okay, now let's turn the plug-in on. Now, I use the automation... Um, to turn this plug-in on and off throughout the song. So um, just hit A on your keyboard, and that pulls up the automation lane. And I have um, the automation set. This is set to bypass right now. So I, um, I'm just going to take this one phrase here. This is the word I. And I've set the pitch correction to the response time to zero. And you have to set the scale for this to work properly. So... The, uh, the root note here is G, and it's a major scale. Now, I actually played this in E minor, so you could set this to E um, and then set this to minor scale. But uh, G is the relative major to E minor, so this works as well. It's the same notes. But notice when I play this now, notice the E note here will snap to D um, when I sing I. So let's listen with the uh, plug-in on now. I fly with you. Okay, and if you notice, the E lit up here, and then it snapped to D. Let's play it one more time. I fly with you. So you notice that the pitch change from the E to the D does a hard snap. So that's your auto-tune effect. Now, again, for this to work, you have to set the, uh, the proper root note and scale. Now, this may sound a little harsh, but I only use this effect on the lead vocal. So when mixed with the doubled vocals, the, lead, the uh, vocal harmonies, and in the context of the rest of the mix, this effect is very subtle. So um, here it is again in the context of the entire mix. So I'll just uh, unsolo this, and here it is. So let's listen to that one more time. I fly with you. So it just it worked real well. It's not like a in-your-face kind of auto-tune effect. And so there it is. Now, I use the bypass feature in the automation lane, but if you want to use this plugin for normal pitch correction for the rest of your song, not just that one phrase, then you may want to automate the response time. So um, let's just take a look at that real quick. So what I'm going to do is just um, 
let's just leave this plugin on here. So we'll set it to on and we'll go focus on the response time. So here's the um, pitch correction response time. So I'm going to automate this right here. So normally, you know, up here around 300 or so, it gives you a nice smooth pitch correction to where it's really not, uh, it doesn't sound like an effect. So it's just going to correct the vocal, the pitch for you. I didn't do that on this song, but um, I'll show you how you could do this. Here's, here's my phrase that I want to have the auto-tune effect on. And then uh, let's just pull this up to normal. Maybe there's 288. That's good. So this will give you the idea. So um, just when I get to this effect, boom, I'm going to pull this down, and you'll see this response time here go from 288 down to zero just during this phrase. So let's take a listen. So that's just an alternative way uh, to automate the response time if you're going to use this plug-in um, for the entire um, track. So that's a brief look at auto-tuning a vocal. So just experiment a little with this effect, and I'm sure you'll, you'll find, as I did, the right place to make this work for you. Make sure you check out the music video for this song in its entirety by following the link in the description. So uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.